morning, everyone. We're at the Kingfisher Lodge in Alaska. We're heading out day two. Yesterday we did like a half day, although it felt like a full day with Thompson. Um, we had a great day yesterday, a lot of fish. We're gonna see what we can catch today. Thompson said we got a short end of the stick, but we'll see if Nilla's gonna put us on them. Looking forward to it though, stay tuned. Big halibut's uh, on the list of target. We're on a different cab from a different boat today. Little tournament here. And there's a competition for the biggest halibut. They call it the Big Butt Award. We've got three more days to try to catch it. Are we going to beat the other teams today? Is there any other way? No, we have to crush them. <laughs> you think we're now fishing, right? We're going to get them. I hope so. We'll see if the Swedish guy, the foreigner, can put us on him. <laughs> I mean, you can. I was telling him I'll help him spike the fish and stuff, but my technique. I'm a newbie, but. Yeah. I can... <laughs> Should you like spike him? Let's start fishing. Oh! Woo! First one of the day. You must have played hockey longer than Sean, huh? That's a better hit. <laughs> Am I a bit more aggressive? Ooh, can I whack him? <laughs> oh, Sarah's taking over. Now if she loses her fish, don't get mad at her. I won't lose it. I hope oh, I he's lose. angry. Spinner. It's a spinner. Oh. Yeah, get him! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna leave her here with you. She's hired. <laughs> you can bait it. Will that work? <laughs> oh, you're gonna make him bait it? Well, he's got the gloves on. He does. Uh, Brian's nasty. Yeah. You got one, Ray? Yep. Oh, things are looking up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice one, Ray. Sarah, what did you do? Sarah must have my rod from yesterday. There was a tornado down there. Was your rod spinning up like that yesterday? A lot, yeah. Huh. I bet Thompson has something to do with this. Oh, nice one. I'll be hooked to that one. How deep were you, Sarah? Oh. Good, good, good. On at 35. Oh yeah, there he's jumping. Oh, <laughs> jumper. All oh, that. I think he's still there. Somebody yeah, at your yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. We're filming and fishing at the same time here. We ain't in the Florida Keys anymore, folks. We've probably got seven or eight cohos already and hoping to get some more, then we're going after the big butts.
halibut today. Hopefully. We're out here this windy, rough water. We need a big halibut from one of you guys. Dibs! Big. Big. <laughs> we need a gaff fish. So we're not at the big halibut spot yet, apparently. But this is where they get their uh, keeper size halibut because there's a slot for them. If they're too big, you can't keep them. But we do have some gaff tags. They purchase tags, I believe, from the commercial fishermen. And uh, then you can keep a bigger fish. But maybe we could get a link cod today because they got some big giant link cod yesterday and I'd love to see one caught. And uh, hopefully we get some keeper halibut here and a couple link cod and we'll see what happens. He's probably getting mad at me because I keep turning his radio down for you guys so we can film. Looks like something out of Jurassic Park back there. But not least. That's right. Well, it could be last and least, actually. <laughs> he rises. Yeah, I'm almost here. What are you doing touching my rod? <laughs> Come on, fish. Oh, it's not just a sinker. What if it's just a sinker? That's gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> ah, it's a baby hell of it. Yeah. Hey, it's the first one. That's true. You gotta start somewhere, but... So you fish that rod. Right you fish. The... Oh, there's a bite. Good, huh? <laughs> getting closer? I don't even know, man. Get him, Ray. Definitely not the gap we're looking for. Oh, we won't catch a gap here. You don't think? No. No, no. How many, um, what's the limit again for halibut outside of the gap? One apiece. One apiece. But well, we're getting closer. They fish these fish in an interesting way. They have these rod holders designed to hold the rods. But since I'm not going by the standard protocol, I picked it up and cranking it up by hand. But I'm getting close. We're going to see him here in a second. Come on, fish. Either it could be one big one or two together. Uh, not even that big. Nope. All that work for that. You got weaker. I got a week I'm getting tired. <laughs> We're letting him go left and right. We're just trying to pick up a few uh, higher grade ones. And he's a professional get him untangled. I don't want to crank him. No wonder they fought oh, twice as hard. <laughs> it was twice as big. There's two of them on there. There you go. Yeah, that'd do it to catch two at one time. <laughs> Good job. So we're doing some black bass fishing now. We already got a couple. I got one on my rod right there. I just caught one. The whole black bass. They're black bass and there's a hole with a lot of them down there. Just slaying them. Keeping a secret. We tie it down to 80. What do you think you got, Amy? A fish. So <laughs> Now I know where she gets it from. She's been hanging out with Thompson and Stevie too much. Pink <laughs> cod. I don't know, it's not really big, but maybe I could keep her on. Oh, drilled them. Nice one. Winner, They're winner. gonna talk. Go get it, big one. Crank on it, so on it. He's on there. He's on there. He's on there. He runs, it. you let him run. But you try and time the swell. Yeah. Ooh, he's angry.
big butt? Oh, it's a halibut. I just don't know how big it is yet. God. Oh, yeah. You don't want to come up. Oh, he's big. What do you think of this style of fishing? I like it. I like rod holder fishing. Different, right? <laughs> Better than breaking your back. <laughs> That's true. You wouldn't want to like stand up in a harness and catch one easy. These four rods are <laughs> strong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They scoped up for a minute. They scoped up out there and they come back down. No, they're looking for that hundred plus. You think this could be it? It'll be close. I think it'll be right around 60 inches, which should make it up. Sarah, can you take it out of the rod holder and walk it back my way, please? It's gonna pull me over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Here, let me grab the rod from you real should quick. Should I just open it up and go? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to reel these up? Uh, what's up? That's it. Excuse me? Yeah, let it pull him over. <laughs> There's a big one, it's big, it's big. Look how big it is, it's huge. It's huge in my book. Holy mackerel. Is that a gaffer? That's a pretty nice one. It's a hundred pounds. Yeah, it's a hundred pounds. <laughs> what do you do? Just beat them like you do a salmon? No, you're you're not touching this one. I'm just kidding. I'm not just kidding. It's like a giant nurse shark. We're gonna harpoon it. We're gonna harpoon them. It's a big fish too. Oh, all the way through, drilled them. Sassy, you got a big halibut. Oh, you got a big one. Oh yeah. This is better than harpooning a swordfish. We're done halibut fishing, right? Yeah, it's real mop. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely epic. Giant halibut for Sarah. Amy got a wing cod. We're tearing up the bass. We got a limit of salmon. I really want a wing cod. <laughs> Only a Kingfisher Lodge charters, right? Yeah. <laughs> look, look, what I just, look what I just found. He put that on the boat for you. I know he did. Yes, he did. He put it somewhere. He said, give it to him after you catch something. That's what I said. I know he put it on there, even though he said, I told you, he doesn't have a heart. <laughs> he so goes, give it to him after you catch a fish, but not until you catch something. <laughs> All right, so we're not sure if bananas are bad luck or good luck, but we'll take it. Oh, he's strong like that. Well, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Is that over 100? It felt right that's around there. That's a fish. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, off. in the dark, kind of comes through that way. Holy moly, that fish. Sort this, uh, this could be a contender for the Big Butt Award. Nah, you think so? Well, I don't know. Thompson won a 90 pounder, but usually takes a 150 plus. I think he weighs more than 100. I'm guessing between 60 and 62. For the four, I'm always bigger than that. That was off. That's a nice fish. 66. 66 inch. Nice That's job. 66. Awesome work, sir. Nice Good job. job. We got one, guys. Woo! My gauge is a bit off. Last one I hooked it was 70 inches, so now like they all look a little right. <laughs> That's a, you never want to oversell sell it either. I know. So I guess it was in his stomach. Right. That's a octopus. An tentacle. octopus tentacle? 
He was eating an octopus tentacle. We're gonna use that for link That'd bait. Link bait. Awesome. All right, let's get some pictures. And then I'm gonna make this. You can film this. This is to be totally legal. So you mark it as the. That's your your gaffish. Yep. So that makes it the gaffish. In case yep. there's another one. And that's the. Pump. No, in case you get pulled over. That's a nice fish. Good yeah. Job. Big butt. Big no, I sort of engaged butt. that wrong. That's hell of a fish. Good job. <laughs> looks big. Good job. So that wraps up for today. We just got word the other two boats each got their gaff fish. So there's going to be three big halibut on the dock there. And uh, we're going to see who's got the biggest. So we got our PB anyway. So no matter what great day, we got lingcod, we got black bass, we got halibut, and we got lots of salmon. And we saw whales. other boats got their big halibuts too so there's gonna be three big halibuts here and one of them is gonna get the big butt award there's the rumor we'll see we already heard that one of them is two inches bigger than ours we think the length but I said is it the length that counts or the weight it's true there's a big halibut up there Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We're going to show them that picture, yeah. too. Yeah, it was about 14 inches long, man. <laughs> so they crushed us on the halibut, but it was a great time. Alaska is majestic. That would be the one word I would describe Alaska. No doubt. You got a chance to go, go do it. Was that your anniversary trip, a birthday trip, or what was it? 60th birthday, 25th anniversary, man. We've been celebrating the 60th birthday for about six months now. Hey, look, everybody, you better be hoping you can go like Frank the Tank when you're 60, bro. That's all I got to say. And if you guys like the videos where Frank ate the crabs in the Bahamas, drop a comment, let us know, because we were just at one of the restaurants in town there, and uh, that's the first thing the guy said when we walked in and goes, how are them crabs? <laughs> boy, I, crabs. I'm an island boy. <laughs> Up in a fish, we'll check back in a couple more minutes. Looks like it's done. Claire, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> The quick fried fish dinner. Get to see how it tastes. Brian, have you had a halibut before? No, I haven't. Is this something you caught, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Frank's was too small to bring back. This is Alaskan flatfish. They're like big Bum. flounder. Bum. Yep. How is it? Voluptuous? As always, it's always good, man. We never have a bad meal here, actually. All the way from Alaska. What is it? Catch a can? Dollar Murata. Yep. Yeah, we were in Craig. What do you think of it? It's good. Uncle First John. Time, <laughs> Uncle John, thanks for the helmet, buddy. Look, Uncle John. <laughs> Island boy wants to go. Frank the tank, baby. Me and you need to get together sometime, brother. Frank the tank. <laughs> Claire wanted to try a bite, you guys. That's how usually we test the food, whether or not we should eat it. She thinks Franker's funny. That's her first bite of halibut ever. Good? She thinks Frank's funny. Mm. You've got to try some of this. Good white meat fish. Like Sarah said earlier, you know, a little bit on the firmer side compared to some of the white stuff that we eat here, like grouper or snapper, but delicious and super white, lightly fried. Can't go wrong with that. Maybe you should start these videos out with dinner and then go backwards through Alaska. Claire! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Things are getting out of control here, you guys. Claire just dumped rice and beans on me. She's on the run. It reminds me of like queen snapper. Yeah. Yeah. Just really white, but more firm. It's not like yellowtail or mangrove. It's like firmer. Yeah, super good. Claire, is that it? Mine all right, you approve? Yeah. She approves, sure. those, approves. she approves those beans on me. Well, that's all we got for you guys. So if you ever get the chance to go to Alaska, highly recommend it. It was a trip of a lifetime for sure. And uh, we won't forget that. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We got at least one more video coming out for the Alaska series. And then we got more videos coming your way. And hopefully we'll see you down here in Alamorado one day. Thanks for watching. And, uh, thanks for being part of our lives. So we'll see you guys then.